Hey, so what's going on? It is good to be back. Last month, I only put out one video where I basically gave an update on my three financial goals for 2021. Everything is still on track. And so other than that, I've really been spending a lot of time with family and um, I'm actually going to be a grandfather in November. So that's been very exciting. However, I'm fully refreshed and ready to put out a lot more content this month. Um, basically, if you're new to my channel, I put out a variety of content around personal finance topics that I'm either learning or actually doing. So a lot of this channel has been about me chipping away at almost $50,000 in debt. In this particular video, I'm going to be going over an update on where I stand in terms of my debt-free journey. I actually paid off another loan over last month in July, and so very excited about that. So I'll, I'll show you where I'm at with that, as well as dive into where my spend went for the month of July, and then I will end with a update on my net worth. So definitely stay tuned. You just got to get started. All right, and then real quick, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Let's jump into it. All right, so here is my updated debt tracker for 2021. And as you can see, since May of 2020, I've been able to reduce my debt by $45,667. In total, that is approximately 14 months. And the only remaining debt that I have left is my 401k loan number two. The debt that I paid off last month was my 401k loan number one, and I had a little over $1,300 that I had remaining on that debt. So now that is completely paid off, and I have one final debt that I need to pay off to be completely debt-free. All right, so next, let's go ahead and jump over to um, my spending for the month of July. And as many of you know, the tool that I'm using is YNAB, or You Need a Budget, and I use it to budget, track my spending, as well as look at monthly reports. And so the total spending that I had in the month of July was $7,174.93. And like I said in the beginning of this video, I was spending a lot of time with family. And so my family spending category was much higher than it usually is. And so the total amount that I spent towards family is $2,693.45 or 37% of my spend. And the reason why it's a lot higher is because there's some traveling costs in there, as well as some paying for activities that I normally haven't been participating in. And so that number was a lot higher. Additionally, you'll see that 19% of my spend went towards this hidden category. But if I were to click into here, you can see that this is my 401k loan number one. So I put Again, a little over $1,300 towards paying off that particular debt. And then I also put aside another $700 towards my 401k loan number two. Um, over here, my giving was about 9%. Um, that's one of my goals for this year in 2021 is to be more generous and do a lot more giving. So hopefully I want to continue to get that number a little bit higher. Utility 6%. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, the food was probably pretty close to what it normally is. Um, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. However, some of the food is also going to be in this family category as well. So that is my particular spending for the month of July. Um, it was a little bit out of the ordinary just because a lot more went towards the family category than it normally would have. The next area that I will go through is my net worth. And I first started checking my net worth in December of 2020. And so as you can see on this chart, essentially each month I've been able to increase my net worth by increasing my assets and at the same time decreasing the amount of debt that I have. So in December, my net worth was 23,000, January 27,000, February 30,000, March 44,000, April 53,000, May 55,000, June 57,000, and then in July, I'm at $61,000. And so as of this month, my assets is about $65,000 and my debt is a little over $4,000. So definitely um, really cool to see this chart and see the progress that I've been making towards my net worth because when I started this journey last year at a negative net worth, one day I might go back and try to calculate it 
but definitely been making some progress on this particular area. All right, so that is the video. If you like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you're interested in more content like this, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified of future videos. And if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Until next time.